Hey everybody, Crisco here, doing another review for CTFX Cinema. Movie number two, Shutter Island. Ooh. Right from the beginning, I want to say I enjoyed this movie, but it's not one that I would watch more than three times. First time watching this movie was great. I had no idea what to expect. It had me guess until the very end. There was no way of me predicting how it would turn out. Oh, and spoiler alert, which if you haven't seen this movie yet, why? I mean, it's been out for a little over a year now. Like many of you, the first time I saw the trailer for this movie, I thought it was taking on a horror genre. However, I was pleasantly surprised to find out that it was a very well done psychological thriller. Now, what's the difference between horror movie and psychological thriller? Um, horror is meant just to scare you, there's no real substance half the time. Psychological thriller is stuff that can scare you, but it really makes you think. For a good half of the movie, I was distracted. Not as distracted by other things, but distracted by the plot. I played into what the director wanted. Mr. Scorsese, who directed this, wanted us to think that it was all about these detectives trying to find a missing person on, a, on an island. Well, an island that happened to have a mental institution located on it. This movie starred Leonardo DiCaprio, who I think did a great job. He played the, the role well, he's done other roles similar to it, and um, I definitely believed his character. So we thought this was all just about a couple of detectives trying to find someone on, a, on an island, right? what there was so much more. Oh, and one quick note, perfect location for a mental institution. Now you've got to admit, we've all had a fear of mental institutions at least one time in our life. And what's scarier than being stuck on an island that is a mental institution? You know, that that's a bad combo. But back to the plot. As the movie developed, pieces started to fit together. Throughout we had these clips and other little things that really didn't make sense, so you kind of ignore them and, you know, shove them to the back of your mind. But you're supposed to recall those later on because they actually fit directly into the real story. Little things that didn't make sense suddenly had a lot more meaning. And at the very end, all questions are answered and the audience is left stunned and almost confused. We just had the whole story switched up on us. We don't want to believe that we were basically lied to. We were tricked. We were tricked to believe that it was this story, but it was something else. And near the end, that starts clicking. You start clicking and going, oh wait, that makes sense. And that's what makes this movie awesome. When you can watch a movie and you think you know what's going on, but then halfway through, it all changes, that's a good movie in my opinion. Don't want to believe that the detective, played by Leonardo DiCaprio, is actually the mental patient that the whole movie focuses on. You don't want to believe that the entire island and all its staff are in on this mental experiment just to cure this man's delusion. You don't want to believe it, but it's true. Now, first time watch this movie, I was perplexed, but I was satisfied with the ending. Yet. I didn't fully understand. Now it took me watching this movie a second time to fully grasp the meaning and catch all those little things that I missed earlier on. Because there are a lot of things that, although at the time seem to not have any importance, yet are deliberately put in there to either throw you off the track or for you to recall it later on. All in all, Shutter Island is a great psychological thriller but not one you watch multiple times over. It's a great movie, it had me guessing the first couple times, but you know, the third or fourth time, it kind of seems to drag on. Now once you watch the ending, there really is no incentive to watch the movie. The ending, you know, changes the whole beginning. So there you have my review for CTFX Cinema. I hope you enjoyed this and the movie as much as I did. Give me some feedback, let me know if you like this review, if you had other thoughts or other opinions. I'd like to get a discussion going. I look forward to reviewing the next movie.